on this kingdom.com and in this episode we are going to be discussing the brand new fireworks show that has come to the magic kingdom um victoria you are there in um actually in Walt disney world right now um so do you want to um kind of give me your thoughts on the brand new show that's come up well personally i really liked it it was a great update compared to wishes i love the projections the combination of new and classic disney films too and it seemed like everyone i was surrounded by loved it too mm -hmm. so if anyone is in any dutch you are where are you currently sat right now doing this recording I am curly in French Quarter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if anyone can hear the music going by or we get some trolley carts or something goes by, you know why. But um, I saw the video online of the new show and it kind of reminded me of the presentation from Disneyland Paris with the way the projections were using. And just in general, um, it's, you know, it's been going for a number of, like, was it 15 years? So upgrading it, I think, is a great thing. But as a whole... It just looks like it's a, a great new show. Was it, what was the kind of favorite things that you liked from it? Well, I personally liked the Moana sequence and the villain sequence. It was very well done. I love the projections that they used for it, along with the fireworks. Yeah, because um, they, they did really just seem to be like a, a greatest hit of Disney, kind of showing off the different movies and maybe a little bit easier for them to integrate newer movies into it over the coming years ahead. Yeah, I was going to say that as well. It's a great way for them to um, integrate upcoming, you know, movies into it as well. I like that aspect of it. Yeah, I mean, you know, it could be quite easy to add, like, some a Coco scene or something to it. Like, But just in general, um, you know, the fireworks and stuff, there was sort of worries that there might not be as many fireworks, but there's loads more of that. Um, As far as the fireworks, I feel like they were very well done. Yeah. I would love to know the budget that they used for the fireworks because I know for a fact that Wishes was about a good few thousand a mm. night. Yeah. So I would love to know the budget for that. Yeah, I mean, it should should be definitely very interesting to see how they're going to do this one here um, in terms of just getting that, that new stuff out there. And I think it's definitely going to be interesting to see how Disney move forward with this, bringing new new aspects to it. But as a whole, you know, I'm re the, the, the preview I saw, it just looked stunning because I, I only watched the, the 4K version from the Diz. I mean, like, um, they put up a great version, so I was able to watch my nice new telly. But um, it definitely looked pretty good. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. I really did get, like, Disneyland Paris fireworks show vibes from it, but it seemed like they updated it slightly, and I just, honestly, I feel like this is going to be what brings people back into Magic Kingdom during the nighttime because sadly we are still without a nighttime parade over here. Yeah, I mean, hopefully it won't be too long there, but I think in general, just bringing in more of the nighttime, bringing in um, a brand new show. I mean, this one here, um, I think the trouble is in some ways that the other one ran probably a little bit too long and therefore it got a. It's that thing of between people not wanting anything to change and everything staying the same. Yeah, that, I, I agree with you. I do. I mean, it's like, it's, I, I will miss Wishes, I really do, but I feel like Happily Ever After is a, a well-deserved replacement for Wishes. So you were there on the first night, what was it like there? It wasn't as crowded as the previous night, as the last night for Wishes. It was extremely crowded. It was like shoulder to shoulder, you weren't able to sit or anything, whereas Happily Ever After, you did get a little bit of room to sit. It wasn't as crowded, but it was still crowded enough, you know, you could tell what everyone was there for. Mm. It was, everyone was very excited, and it was just a great time. Okay, uh, okay so and, uh, then we, we've got the luggage trolley going by. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's an odd thing, I think, as well, for being at um, the French Court as well, one of my favorite hotels and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so I hope you're getting some tips from that. Um, so also from that show, what was kind of the, the overall experience from the crowd like? Um, overall experience, everyone was very excited, very hyped. Um, I feel like everyone was just more so open to what Disney had to offer to bring to them this time around. Mm. Um, now, after, I mean, me personally, with my group of friends, they were there were tears and they were very excited. They were very overwhelmed, and the crowd around me was very overwhelmed with emotion as well. They picked a great number of films to be incorporated into it, I feel, and it really pulled everyone in, and the message of the fireworks as well. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people were getting, I mean, that kind of thing of how busy it was, and people maybe not quite understanding it. Mm. I mean, I
mean, I feel like it isn't too big of an issue at no. that point, honestly. I don't think it is. No, I mean, I think just in general, I mean, I think having this new show, it's going to be, there's a lot of new stuff going on at Walt Disney World right now, and I think that's a, definitely a good thing. I agree. I mean, we just had a whole bunch of things open up this past, you know, Memorial Day weekend with Pandora and and on the West Coast as well. I feel like this was a great, you know, preview into what's to come this summer. Like, each park will basically have something, except Epcot, sadly. Yeah. But Epcot gets no love, but... <laughs> no, that's just... Yeah, I feel like Happily Ever After is, is going to be around for a very long time. No. No, that, that's pretty good um, that they're kind of adding this into it and kind of doing different things. I definitely feel this is a good move forward from Disney kind of just keep adding new new content. I mean, that's the best thing they could do right now is create content that, yes, we'll definitely enjoy that they're familiar with and that way they can integrate their new product in as well. Yeah. So everyone's already familiar with Moana. That's why it's got the most praise when the Moana scenes came up. So mm. I feel like it's a really good thing that they're doing right now. And have you just seen it the, the once so far, or have you seen it a little bit more than that? Um, unfortunately, I've only seen it once because I had to start working. But <laughs> <laughs> but I have missed it. I've been wanting to see it again for a very long time since it came out. So hopefully I can do that this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Well, on that note, guys, I would just like to leave you know, for you guys to let me know what you guys are think of the new show. You can comment below. You can also get in touch with us on all the different social medias and stuff. So, um, Victoria, where they can find you over at? They can find me on Twitter at he calls me PP and Instagram he calls me Pineapple Princess. Okay. On that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. There's been a, I've done a little bit of a change this week to um, how we're setting up like the the video versions on YouTube. So it's like a brand new channel for all the parts and uh, product there. So we put everything over there, and that's where the Disney Kingdom podcast is going to be. So definitely want to check that one out. We also have our gaming channel as well, and you can find us on the different. Um, audio platforms as per usual on that note guys thank you very much for watching and we'll see you guys soon laters bye